Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and it's here. We have the 2022 Toyota Tundras right behind me. In this video, I'm gonna tell you different trim levels, tell you what's new, tell you what you can expect in these trucks. You know, again, what all is new, and there's a truck here today. There's a truck right now today I think I'd buy. I think I might buy. I think I will buy. Yeah, I'm gonna show you that truck too, but let's go ahead and get started on this SR5. So you can see we have a whole new design, new front end. We have aluminum on the hood. We have aluminum fenders. We're gonna go ahead and we drop some weight there. We have a fully boxed frame because we have the five link coil suspension in the back. And so what they're able to do is they're able to get a good ride quality without having, with, with able to stiff the frame. They didn't need to triple check frame anymore. Made a fully boxed frame all the way through because again, suspension is different. So they have a good ride quality and they have good fuel economy in this because they offer two engine choices. They have a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 and a 3.5 liter hybrid, which is basically take the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, put electric motor in it with a, on the clutch, on the transmission, electric power. They have a nickel battery that nickel, I'll put the word down below. They have a nickel battery that's below the rear seat and that way they run the hybrid system so they have good fuel economy. So no, there's no V8, which a little disappointed about, but that's just what the future is. So the hybrid, what um, Mike was saying, Chief Engineer Mike Swears was saying, he really wanted a diesel he can't have the diesel. Toyota Japan won't let him have the diesel. And so he made sure that the hybrid performed like a diesel. It's got all of its torque at like 2,500 RPMs. It gets a really good tor torque curve. So you have that in the hybrid truck. And it was interesting because he said something I've said many times. He didn't care if the truck was a hybrid or not. He wanted the performance. And I've said that when I bought the power boost, I don't care if the power boost is a hybrid or not. I wanted the performance and I wanted the, the power on board. So in this case, we have the performance of a hybrid. We have Again, these lights are integrated in, and, I'll, and I'll, you'll find videos on this channel where I'll talk about the designer. I really want to get the designer talking about what he did, and so there's a video on that. But you can see we have some athletic stances. That's what that is over here. This uh, engraving on the bed gives it that stamping, that athletic look to it. Uh, we have the, this is Yokohama tires. This is SR5. Unfortunately, the SR5 is locked because it's not quite finished inside, but that's kind of what the exterior looks like. And there's trucks here that the back is unlocked and uh, the interior is unlocked. And I'll show you some video of technologies on this channel. We went through the whole ultimate multimedia video that's on this channel too, but um, we'll talk more of the interior, but there's our bed. We have a drop-in liner on this and uh, just four tow hooks plus the utility track system. There's a new feature here, which is the new bumper cap, which is interesting. So it's one piece that goes along here. You know, it's, it's, it's an interesting look. It's, it definitely stands out from the, uh, what's going on in the marketplace. Usually they just come straight across, but a little bit different. A little bit more of a, a unique shape here when they cut these lines almost like a little bubble butt kind of going on but that's how the shape is there okay and so um again lots of cool changes in this truck i'll go ahead and show you some videos of other trucks that are sitting around we'll go ahead and get in the truck and then i'll tell you and i'll go show you the truck i'm gonna probably buy let's go over there because that's really cool okay let's talk about a truck i would buy and this is probably the truck i'd buy and it's a really stupid reason let me show you the reason it's right here. Color matched front bumper. The, the other trucks that have the bumper that kind of slides off there to nothing in blackness, just not a big fan of. And it's really interesting how much that changes the look of this truck. I still got the mutton chops, what I'm calling those, that go up the top. But it, I like this, it looks more finished to me. It's got a little bit more, too much chrome that I typically like, but this is not the shiny chrome. This is more of the matted chrome. And it, I like the blue logo behind there as well which probably signifies the same thing that it's the iForce Max it's the hybrid engine and coming around the side you can see where the the lights go in there which is nice it kind of a it is a nice look there I, I do give them credit there um, but yeah again that was it's, it's it's dumb but I mean that's the biggest thing I just I just can't I don't like that in the SR5 I probably would paint that if I had a choice but uh, yeah that there we have platinum there along the sides kind of an interesting uh, material choice there letters that are just kind of glued on and then go along the back we can see the styling you can see the line coming in and then this is the six and a half foot bed yep crew cab six and a half foot bed is now available you get double cab with six and a half eight foot bed you get crew cab with five and a half and six and a half foot bed so that's gonna be available I know it's a big thing for the consumers um, we do have a really interesting aero fin here for aerodynamics same thing back here this is for aerodynamics and then we have there's again your drop-in bed liner and we have this has got the step built into it this is an accessory looks like it's not active but that would come down allow you in bed you have one big exhaust there inside the truck on the platinum. I have running boards come out. 
powered running boards. I do have some interesting seat colors. It's kind of a star night kind of look back here. I do have the big panel moonroof in this one. Um, and here's the back of the headrest. Interesting, different trucks, different back of headrest, different colors, which is kind of interesting back there. I do have some plug-ins, heated seats, and cooled seats back here for my kiddos who will appreciate that. Yeah, this is the one that I think this looks the best. This is a interesting place for armrest. It's not really soft touch. This is the more soft touch here. Controls there. Some seated um, seat setting buttons. That's always really important um, when you have multiple drivers like I do. We have the heat control for the steering wheel here. I have this turns on the 120 volt um, plug in the back. I have odometer of crash testing. I have opens the, the um, gas tank and lights as well. And so there's your interior and there's the multimedia, multimedia screen. The control is back there as well. And you will notice in this one, there is a button and that is for your air ride suspension. So we have not only air ride suspension in some of the topper grades, but we also have a locking rear differential as well in the TRD Pro. So we're, we're to me, we're fixing some of the criticisms are now being addressed with this truck. This one does have the full digital display. We can see the iForce Max, how much the battery is charged. We can see um, this is probably the boost gauge it looks like for the turbos. And we have this speedometer there, all digital. And so this interesting look, uh, the controls here and then steering wheel has the tilt and telescoping steering wheel, which is nice there as well. And we have the console shifter. There is no column shifter. We have a console shifter here. And then we have the wireless charging there. And then this goes back and there's, you can access room back there, put a big Yeti cup in there if you want to. We do have some, um, some cup holders here as well. Different drive modes. I never had drive modes before, but now I have different drive modes. And then this is interesting. This is a two part center console. So you actually have, well, you have space. People don't invade your personal space. Like this on airplanes too, be nice to have a split um, center console to allow you to have an armrest that's just yours. So interesting they did that there. And uh, yeah, and then we have the rear view camera mirror, which is um, a flick of the dial there. It will go back and forth to the camera mirror. And yeah, platinum is spelled out there. Uh, let's go check that out. I wanna see if that's engraved, if that's a sticker, how they're doing that. Something interesting in here. So there's your turn signal. Let's check it over here. Well, that's interesting. That's why that light is so wide. You have three lights there. Huh. Go around there. But again, this, this brushed metal. We're a fan of that. And then... Yeah, platinum is here, and it's a little bit in. I guess a little bit in bought. I don't know. Just that could be done. I guess a little bit better. And then we have the, the dual stitching here, dual stitching there. Just from a styling standpoint, taking up maybe one more notch. But there is the interior of the platinum. And again, it's the color matching for me. It's the features, digital dash. I can get that in limited hybrid and above. I would. I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up that going that way. I, I prefer mechanical, but. The future is gonna be digital. And so you kind of have to be with the future, you know? Yeah, all right, let's keep looking around. All right, one of the interesting features they've done in this truck, and it's it's nice, it's right here, it's, it's built into the tail lamp, is there's a button that actually drops the tailgate. And the reason why that'd be useful is hands full, if you have gloves on or whatever, and you don't wanna, you can't get in there, you grubbed, your hands are dirty, hands are full, you take your elbow, And drop the tailgate. It's just interesting. Um, everybody's doing different stuff getting tailgate. You know, GM's got the buttons. It's on the key fob in a lot, a lot of vehicles these days. But having it right there to push your elbow against, pretty handy feature. Okay, let's talk about towing. So we have 12,000 pounds of towing on this truck. We have up to 1,840 pounds of payload. And that's because you're able to reduce some of the weight with aluminum on the truck and reduce the weight uh, with the coil suspensions versus leaf, leaf springs. So you can tow a uh, this is a big airstream with this truck you can tow quite a fit of, of campers especially that max hybrid so I've, I've driven the power boost which is ford's name for it and you have plenty of power in that just you know that that power comes on demand it's almost like driving a diesel with that much power behind it i will tell you the fuel economy when towing with the power boost wasn't as good as i'd hoped it would be 
but around town driving you have much better fuel economy than you would just a standard v8 so a pro and con there for sure um but yeah that's that's what you're having there with this truck with towing and there's a couple things there's a a trailer backup assist but in your mid up here you're going to hit your modes your tow mode it's going to ask you what trailer you have and when it asks you what trailer it has it's going to ask you if it's a big trailer or a small trailer it's a box trailer or open trailer and you're going to set that once you set that trailer it's going to ask you do you want to use trailer backup assist and you're going to hit the button and say yes and then what's actually going on is we have we have a camera and we have a light on here it's shining down onto the trailer itself so you're going to identify your trailer it's going to ask you for an estimated trailer length on there the camera is going to come down and identify your tongue length of the trailer itself and then it's going to go through an algorithm and calculate what the angle is of the truck okay and so when you when you put it in there and you start backing up so if i want this trailer to go straight say it's going to the boat launch not this trailer you want to launch this battery like that launch but say i'm at a boat launch or say i'm trying to put this into a, a parking spot you're and this is i want to go straight back here my truck and trailer aren't even it's going to automatically steer you're going to have to operate the brake but it's going to automatically steer and give it a little bit of, of speed to put this trailer straight back in there on a long trailer mm, you know long trailers aren't that hard to back right, up right. but when you get like a jet ski trailer or a short snowmobile trailer that's where people struggle getting them in and it's just calculating the angle of where it's at and then it's telling the the front based on what the truck is doing what it needs to do to turn to get that trailer to go straight back now if you don't like you know maybe a, you you thought you, the trailer need could go straight back but you're just not right with that well you can make a small adjustment and you let go of the steering wheel and it'll start backing up again so th th there's no button inside there's no there's like, a soft switch on the right uh, but there's no like four dial no switch no 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 so this just does it automatically it does it automatically okay and the, the goal of this was uh how do you enhance the driving experience so the guy tows all the time uh, I tow all the time. Uh, we tried looking at these type of buttons, but it's opposite of way that I think to back a trailer. It up, is right. So I would never use it because it frustrates me because I'm expecting when I turn it that the trailer's turning the opposite way, and no, well, that's the way you want the trailer to turn. So I'm I'm kind of doing this this zigzag pattern trying to back up with it. Yeah, he's got the police on him. It looks like a drunken guy back up trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So the other is what 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 do you do? you know for the for the weekend warrior for the guy that right. once or twice and this is where maybe the dial's helpful but our thought was well he still has to think about how he wants to to put that trailer if i got the trailer down at the boat launch and i want to put the boat in the water why doesn't the truck do it yeah and and the first thought for us is well why don't you stand outside the truck on the dock and then you can jump in your boat and you know have the truck but that was that that's going to take a little more uh development sure sure and, and you know kind of funny story is is it didn't really dawn on me i i drive all the time i tow all the time and i was actually dropping the boat in we were going fishing and there was a guy in the small lake and he's sitting in an old pickup truck on the back and he's got a six pack of beer and i back my my boat down drop it in the water and I pull up the boat up or the trailer and the, the truck up and park it and i come walking back down and he's he's giving me a clap first one today put it in i go like what are you doing Best entertainment out there. It's free. Just a guy with some beer. I'm just watching people try to get their tra their boat in the water. And no one wants to be that guy being stared at if you don't. Oh yeah. Do oh yeah. 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 It's yeah. the worst. Oh. Worst feeling in the it's world. It's terrible. So our 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 thought process is, you know, how do you help the, the guy that doesn't do it that often, and how do you enhance the right. person who does it all the time's experience? Yeah. Very cool. All right. And now the flagship version of the new 2022 Toyota Tundra. Do do do. It is the TRD Pro. They're gonna have a TRD Pro truck plus a TRD Pro or TRD off-road package and a TRD Sport package. Uh, different variations on tires and setup for that. But this is the TRD Pro. So the big keys to know is we've got the integrated um, LED light bar. We have the cool TRD Pro on the marker lights. We have the blacked out kind of dropping down as far as the whole front grill, which I gotta say it looks better in person than it does on the photos you've seen. Um, we have the, the TRD Pro boom right up here, the, the plastic covering up there. 
we have some Falcon Peak tires, and what's interesting is that uh, he said, uh, Mike Spears said on these tires that the last generation of TRD Pro, he didn't, the tires were really good, but they weren't very sexy. So they made, went to Falcon, and they were trying to use Michelin, Michelin wouldn't play ball. But Falcon played ball, and they created a tire, specifically they liked, it had more sidewall, so if you're off-roading, you have more sidewall you can bang against, and some more styling, more styling on this, on this tire all the way around. And so it just looks better. We still have the same BBS forged wheels. We have the same 1.1 inch lift lift on this, and you can get 20s on this one as well with that lift. Um, we do have this is kind of an interesting camo like styling here, and I'm not I'm not sure what to make of that one. It is it is interesting. Um, and then this is the one you've seen the photos of because it has a red interior. You can also tell the lift is there because. Yeah, I'm gonna have a problem getting this thing. But uh, this is a red interior, red seats. I will say these red seats look a little bit better in darker light. I think bright red outside is a little bit much, but that's just me. Um, TRD Pro on there as well. And then we have the controls here. Electronic locking rear differential is the big key here. We end up have crawl control, which is gonna be here, and multi-train select and multi-train select crawl control. So some benefits there, especially for off-roaders. Uh, those are really good products to have on the Tacoma and the forerunner oh and we have a big button that says trd light bar so we can light up the the off-road when we're out there and then oh, we'll go check that out over there interesting i'm gonna go check out that fashion side here in just a minute but as you come around the back there is your red interior and we have the under seat storage like we showed you other ones oh this one's interesting oh this because this is the hybrid so the hybrid has a battery back here which you lose the under, under seat storage so that's pretty interesting so if you do the 3.5 liter non-hybrid you get storage you do the hybrid no storage hmm. not sure on that one uh interesting 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 compromise okay on the back we have some dual chrome tipped exhaust uh, again, the five link coil suspension. The, he said there was a little bit of issue with the body roll and they adjusted some of the parts on that and some of the, uh, um, uh, come around the back. We do have, again, some marker lights. Don't say TRD Pro on them, but we have that interesting camo look to it. And then we have that bumper we talked about. And then this one, yep, it's got that button there that pops down there as well. But what I wanted to see was the TRD Pro engraved um, there. Uh, and I wanted to see, I wanted, oh, I wanted to see over here. That's what I wanted to see. So, Toyota there in big letters, but then the 1794 is small, and limited is small, and the Platinum is small. So, kind of interesting what they did there. I don't know if I want Toyota spelled out that big there. Hmm. Okay, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about this one. This is Solar Octane. It's a special color for TRD Pro. Uh, the also TRD Pros get a new front stabilizer bar, red paint and suspension parts, TRD aluminum front skid plate, along with additional underbody protection and unique, those unique all-terrain Falcon tires. Uh, the, there's also an adaptive variable suspension that's available for some in Tundra to adjust to dampening force based on ever-changing road conditions. So it's going to adjust as far as it's got built-in actuators. If you hit potholes, it's going to adjust to the potholes is basically what they're saying. Now, as far as those drive modes, there is a Sport and a Sport Plus setting. Just give you, like, ultimate control of, and really tap into all the power. You have a tow haul mode as well. And the when you're in tow haul mode, the iForce Max system is continuously, constantly in operation to provide impressive acceleration and towing. Um, like I said, there's multi-train select and crawl control. He did say they have redone the crawl control, and it doesn't sound nearly as... Uh, loud as it had in prior generations. Downhill assist control as well. Um, pricing and availability going to come out later on this year. Um, I would anticipate the hybrid is going to be in sale quarter one of next year. And just finishing it up, we have the interior. You have that big screen in there. You'll have some backup cameras, a round view camera, um, helpful for towing and stuff. And for, speaking of towing, there's lights in the side of the side mirrors that shoot all the way back. So if you're backing into a uh, barn or something, you light the whole barn, you can see that red mark on top of the steering wheel. And that is for off-road driving. It allows you to really quickly see where the top of the wheel is as you're going. Um, also, it looks cool, too. Raptor's got it. Uh, there's the split armrest, as you noticed on other things I talked about on this new truck. 
Okay, I do want to make sure I talk about the limited trim. We can see it here hooked up to the Airstream. Uh, each grill is different. So you see this grill, that's going to be only for the limited. And as you've watched this video, you can see the grill has changes throughout the different trim levels. Um, this is the supersonic red exterior color. And we can see body color matched on the mirrors. And we'll get them around the side here in a minute. I'm just kind of letting this video play. There we go. So this is like the limited crew cab. It's hooked up to that camper. Um, we can see how it sits with the weight of the camper there. It looks pretty level. Pretty darn level to me. And we'll come around here and we'll see the bed here. You're going to see something. You'll see the uh, Tundra is going to be spelled out in the tailgate. When you come around to it, there's how your hookup. There it is. See the Tundra spelled out and then you have a chrome on the tailgate lift of the latch. And then there's those lights. I showed you how they work with the turn signals. Okay, inside the cabin we can see with the bigger screen, like we've seen other trim levels. Uh, it looks This is the limited. Um, looks like just a black, kind of dark gray interior. And yeah, there's nothing uh, nothing too different about this. Um, I didn't see anything that was big differences between different trims, but that's just how the interior looks. I'm sure there's a bunch of features that I'm not aware of at the moment. I'm trying to get all information together. We're going to wait for like a build in price so that we can get the right information out to you guys. But then, so you have the split armrests. You have, you know, again, probably more black plastic through here. But uh, I think it looks pretty good, really, as far as the different uh, trims. So this is the limited trim. Something I would probably look at buying is limited trim. It's because I think it looks, I, frankly, I think it looks pretty good in here. And we have the digital with the analog gauges, which I'm a big fan of. And pretty nice seats as well. And finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the 1794. So you have the SR, SR5, Limited, Platinum, 1794, and the TRD Pro. You can see the 1794 has got more chrome on it. It's actually got quite a bit of chrome on that grill. It's got the mesquite brown color. That's a carryover color. There will be a variety of colors. I'll read them off here in a second. Those colors are going to include Super White, Wind Chill, Pearl, Magnetic Gray Metallic, Celestial Silver Metallic, Midnight Black Metallic, Supersonic Red, Army Green, Lunar Rock, Blueprint, Smoke Mesquite, which is on this truck you're seeing now, limited and only 1794, and Solar Octane, which you saw a little bit earlier. That was the TRD Pro. So, um, again, you have lots of different choices on colors. Uh, you have two different cabs. You have double cab, crew cab, and you have the 6.5 foot bed on the crew cab, which is new. 5.5 foot bed is kind of standard. On the double cab, you have 6.5 foot bed and 8 point one inch bed on the double cab you see it on this uh, mesquite you just have a lot more chrome overall and let's go ahead and check out the interior all right inside we can see this nice white interior it's like a cream it's not quite white I know they get dirty people don't like these colors so much but I think in a hot summer day these colors really work out well for keeping the cabin cooler you can just see that the big screen you can see the uh, stitching in there and the overall design. One thing I need to mention is every Tundra is going to come with the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. That includes uh, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. You got uh, dynamic radar cruise control. You have lane tracing assist. It would allow you keep in lane a lot easier. You have automatic high beams, rear seat reminder, and you also have blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, and available parking support brake to implement park control when there's possibly a collision. So. Lots of good safety technology there, and there's a 36-month, 36,000 mile warranty on the Toyota Tundra. And the powertrain is covered for 60 months and 60,000 miles. So, and I will say that the the center console with the, uh, like, I guess his and hers kind of split armrest really works out well. I like that. And I like all the finishing touches in this. I think, I, I like the way the 1794 turned out. I just wish the um, badging on the truck was a little bit I guess a little bit up more upscale is what I was thinking, what it should look like inside the truck. All right, there you go. There is all the news today in the 2022 Toyota Tundra. I showed you different trim levels, told you what's new, I told you what I liked, didn't like, and I told you which one I'm gonna buy. So hey, make sure you check, check this other video out over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.